Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 21st of 2020, well, it is titled LDN 1622, a dark nebula in Orion. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as one of Lynn's Dark Nebula, or LDN for the catalog designation, and the number is 1622. And a dark nebula is a darker area on the sky. And a darker area generally means a concentration of material. So there's a lot more material present here than what we can see with our eye, with our eyes. Now, visible light does not do a very good job at penetrating through dust, and dusty particles out in space therefore block out the light from behind it. So one of the ways that we can actually look through this is to use infrared light. So infrared light has longer wavelengths than visible light and is much better at penetrating through dusty areas. So things like the Spitzer Space Telescope have been able to look through this area and to find that there, what's going on in there, which is star formation. Now, a dark, dense, dense area is an area which has, again, more matter, so more material to be able to collapse, to be able to form stars. And that is what is happening inside this nebula right now. So over the next hundreds of thousands of years, new stars will begin to form here. And that's the process that is ongoing right now. And when we look at the infrared, we can see some of those beginning remnants of those stars as they just begin to collapse and begin their formation of their stars and most likely planetary systems around them. Now, around the dark nebula, we see a large, lot of orange, uh, orange red glow, which is due to hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas, which is the most common element in the universe, is excited, and when it is excited, it causes it to glow. So radiation from nearby stars can excite the gas and remove electrons from it, and then when the electrons recombine, it will give off a specific color, and that color for hydrogen gas in the visible part of the spectrum that we see is a reddish color that we see here. Now the concentration of material up towards the upper right side that we see, just above and to the right of the nebula, is an example of a uh, reflection nebula. Now a reflection nebula is a little bit different. That occurs when hot stars have light reflecting off the dust. So these stars have already formed and are now beginning to clear away some of that material. So the dust isn't as dense. The stars are now visible. And the dust or remaining dust around them is able to scatter that starlight. It will generally give us a bluish color. And that is because the dust is much better at scattering blue light than it is at red light. So we get that bluish color of the reflection nebula up towards the upper right. So really in this image, we get to see three different types of nebulae. We see the dark nebulae, uh, dark nebula there that we looked at first, and then we see what we call emission nebulae, that's the glowing hydrogen gas around it, and then finally the concentrated material there in the reflection nebula as well. So we get to see all three types of nebulae in this one image today. So that was our picture of the day for February the 21st of 2020. It was titled LDN 1622 Dark Nebula in Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Central Centaurus A. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.